You know, I actually, uh, we really studied how, I think it actually helped him in a bizarre way. He's our best, you know, one of the best guys I've ever seen pad level. And because he always had it, I think, in his right, right? His left is the one that's hurt. And he really learned how to protect himself. So the thing that the uh, healthy wrist gives you is the, you know, using this to defend off people. So uh, that still remains to be seen, you know, and we'll, we'll evaluate that year, uh, during the year, but uh, I do think that'll be very helpful for him. Have you noticed, you say you're going to evaluate during the year, but notice any difference? Trying no. to test out that stiff arm or anything like that? No, I haven't watched that closely, to be honest with you. He's, he's doing very well, though. Back row middle, Steve. Yeah, that was my question. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, he hasn't. You know, I'm trying to think. We have not had him to the ground tackle, which is not uncommon for a two, you know a guy that's rushed for a 2,000 yards. So, uh, you know, he'll be. He works hard. He's uh, like a, when when he's in there, he goes very hard. So, you know, that is a fine. What you just brought up is a fine line, not just with him, but the you know the Taylor Deckers of the world, the uh, Pat Elflines, and it's everyone that's dealing with that issue. You know, last year wasn't so much an issue because you didn't know, and so you had to go out and let him play a bunch. Today we had a big long scrimmage, but a lot of it was, you know, guys that haven't played. So, uh, but that's that's the, every every coach. The question you just asked, that's the number one thought of every coach right now at this time of year. Front row, Tim. Yeah, a couple of questions. Number one, uh, of the two quarterbacks battling for the starting job, is have you seen some uh, delineation? Have you seen some separation? What's just your take on those guys after your full week of practice and a scrimmage? Oh, uh, they're both I'm doing. They're both doing good. Both doing good. <laughs> you're sticking by the deal. You're not going to make an announcement until. Yeah, and yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, and um, I try to be as honest as I can. And uh, I, they are. They're, they're neck and neck. You know, one guy's. I really thought in my mind two days ago, one guy was starting to move ahead of the other. And then guess what today is? It's They're back to. Not gonna, I haven't graded it yet. Uh, in, in Braxton, how is that? Move looking now to you. Or, or Typical, or like I talked to, you know, it's interesting, Terrell Pryor. I never met Terrell. I talked to him on the phone during recruiting once or twice, but I met him at the Cleveland Browns game. And uh, what a big athlete he is. But uh, very nice young guy. We talked for a little bit, and he's dealing with hamstrings because quarterbacks, you know, Braxton's life has not been spent running, running, running. And what receivers basically put on track shoes and go for two hours. And so his body, next week's a big week for Braxton. He had a little tight hamstring that we did. We held him out today. Uh, but not pulled. He should be ready to go on Monday. Back row left, Matt. That's it. And I always say this about Mike. You know, I, I just I get very upset when I see reporters, and I can't remember who did it, but they start saying that sources. My sources told me. That so and so's hurt. I'm going to ask you very politely. Don't you know if it's a source? Hey, I heard so and so had a good practice. I'm fine, but there's a process, and it's much more. You know, families involved, and we try to do right by families and people and all that. And, and before, you know, that was reported before we knew exactly what it was. Someone showed me, and so if you are contacting people inside, I'm going to fire them. If they're so, it's good. They think, man, do I, I got my job to do. But that's why we have press conferences and we try to help you guys out. So I'm just going to ask, you know, politely that uh, if you're, everybody has a job to do, we try to be as honest as we can with injuries, but we let us do our, you know, I don't care about you, I don't care about our coaches, I care about the kids and their families, and let us go through the process of properly diagnosing it, making sure we got to talk to the families and everybody's, because then all of a sudden I'll panic's on and, and whoever, I can't remember who did that, I've asked Jerry to just, to just visit with you guys. And like I said, if I, you know, hey, I heard so-and-so had a good day, so that's fine. I'll fire the guy too if I hear that he's calling people and letting you know. That's why we have press conferences. So when I hear your sources, you know, that's why you have press conference. And if you have a question about injury, if I can tell you, I will tell you if I decide it's not best, it's, it's because I gotta protect our program. I'm not trying to keep things from people. So I didn't mean to go off on a tangent, and it's been great here. But I just, that was the one that I remember someone said, boy, Mikey got her. I said, what do you mean? And it was out in a, you know, someone put it out there that their sources told them that Mikey got hurt. Mikey's doing very well. Uh, he's walking without uh, crutches right now. It was a meniscal tear. And uh, he had it fixed already. And I would anticipate, 
I don't. He won't be ready for the first one, but and, and there's a chance we won't redshirt him. He's, he had a really good camp up to that point. I think he got a stripe off for one of the first guys too. So, was that your question? Yeah, and also just how the week went. Yeah, week went great. Today wasn't great. They're blown out. We had a two a day yesterday. We had three two a days this week. Three double sessions, and it was not uh, what I, I'd hoped. I, I would have probably expected, but I was hoping we'd be a little more mature. And um, so we got to come back Monday and, and do much better. But. Overall, went really well. The uh, where we went for our little pro. I think you guys had a day down there at our little pro camp down at Coffee Field. That's great, and and uh, so we're on schedule. A little disappointed today. Front row, Bill. Last year's defense obviously peaked at the right time. Overall, mm -hmm. how would you assess how it played last year, and what can and must it be? I think our defense by the last three games was as good as I've ever witnessed. Uh, obviously, we had some growing pains because we blew up the secondary and and changed. Uh, Dramatically, what we're doing, a um, you know, very systematic approach now. So I, I like where I love where we're at. You know, the in interior D line is one area of concern right now. Uh, we had to hold Mike Hill out today. He's going to be fine. His, his leg was bothering him. And then uh, Munger, we held him out today. But they've had two good camps. If we can get right now, you have uh, Washington and Shut. You have Hale, who was also held out because he had his he pulled that muscle gastric, you know, the, the calf muscle. Uh, but they're all going to be full go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we're hoping the interior is going to be a little bit by committee. And Sam Hubbard right now has got the edge at the defensive end spot. And in terms of uh, questions that you have, what are the biggest two questions you have about the defensive line? Uh, uh, backup offensive line and interior D-line. Those are two areas. Is Shutt showing you what you wanted to say? Yeah, Shutt's had a good camp. What's that mean to you? Uh, I mean, he's, it's, it's, the clock has been ticking. Um, he's really handled himself the right way. He's, uh, he's had a really good camp. He's one of our top five most improved. I put Noah Brown, Tommy Shutt, Gary Ann Conley, um, Chase Ferris, Bryante Dunn. Those guys are all in the top five as far as most improved guys. And Shutt's certainly one of them. Front row and uh, Sam Hubbard, I throw him in there. And Jalen had a good day, too. Jalen Holmes. So. Front row left. Doug? Urban, beyond the, the health aspects for Braxton, in terms of the other things you have to do as a receiver, is he at a, at a point can he start against Virginia Tech? Is he sure. To do that? Sure. My plan is to try to get him ready to do that. And, uh, you know, the routine, we have two routines we always talk to our players about. Number one is the routine, getting ready for a game. And that's what you eat, what you wear, how you sleep, and all that. And the other routine is per play. As a receiver, it's much different than quarterback. You know, quarterback, you don't have to get lined up. You have to find a center and stand behind him. But, uh, so he's, he's really developing his routine. And even today, he was out there. Uh, he, he, I didn't scrimmage him, but he was getting his routine, getting his play, getting his split, and, and then identifying the coverage. So he's getting real close. So you're, you're thinking he's your starting age? Well, I'm not ready to say that. I'm trying to, I want him to be. And then with um, Tony Alford and Tim Beck, new additions to the staff this year, just what do you see with them working in during their first preseason? Very good. Very good. Uh, I'm more worried about, you know, a player relationship and developing a unit than I am so much about uh, impacting the scheme. Uh, I think they both have. Uh, but they're, they're both they're doing very well. Great additions. With, when you have a staff, what's your balance between wanting continuity and wanting guys who are going to have opportunities to move on? Oh, I, I, I hate when guys lose really good coaches, but I also love the fact that Tom Herman's leading the program, Dan Mullen, Steve Adazio, uh, Dan McCarney, uh, Doc Holliday. And, and I guess that's kind of why guys come here now, you know, because they know they're going to probably get, you know, if things work out, they'll get that. So I expect it. That's about two a year. As in my, I always keep a little sheet of who I think's next. And I hate losing great coaches. Like I hate when the, the junior declares early. Uh, I mean, I, but I also love it for them, and that's why we do it. So I'm, I'm great with it. And last question, Clay. Yeah, how weak is overcoach here in the new phase? Yeah. Is it Virginia Tech here on in? Or? Yeah, it's, uh, we actually start a little bit earlier, obviously, because we open up with them, and we have a lot of respect who they are, and they, they beat us. So we've, uh, we've been working on them a little bit, but it's going to be in earnest now. I mean, it's going to be a good – over half our practice will be devoted to Virginia Tech now. How many starters do you have right now? Starters. How many? Positions? Yeah, It'd have to take me a minute. Uh, offensive line down? set, offensive line set, quarterback's not set, tailback set. Uh, receiver's going to be a group of, you know, five guys probably. 
Uh, tight end set, Nick Vanette uh, also goes in the most improved category. Uh, he's had a great camp. On defensive line, uh, still, that's, that's not set yet. Uh, you know what the first group is, it's the rotations are not set yet. Linebacker is set and secondary is set, so we're, we're ready to rock and roll. Just Having a battle kicker right now. You know, uh, that new guy came in, Jack, yeah, he had 260 yarders in practice the other day. And, yeah. And then uh, back to back, never seen that before. 60 yarders, one would have made it. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it was on that really nice grass that was about that long down at coffee, too. On different hats. Is that little fire in that competition? I mean, do you, yeah. do you see Sean? Yeah, if you said who's kicking right now, I, don't, I can't answer that question. Yeah. Hey, good thing. Uh, any, anybody else uh, have any kind of like injury kind of situation through this week besides Weber? I told you about uh, Munger and uh, Hill. They're going to be back. Uh, Mike Thomas, I held him out. Uh, Brown bruise on his foot, but he's fine. He'll practice Monday, and I think that's it. Dontre missed a few days. It's just from a sore foot, but he uh, went today. So we, we've made it to this point pretty good. When you say those five receivers, you have the five guys in mind? Uh, five or six. Uh, Mike Thomas, uh, Noah Brown. Um, not counting the three that are not playing in the first game will be in there because they're all having a good camp. And uh, Paris Warren and uh, Paris, no, Paris Warren, played for me at Utah. Paris Campbell and uh, Terry McLaurin are close. I miss, oh, Johnny Dixon. So we, we got some guys. And Torrance is scratching the surface too right now. Oh no, Curtis is in there too. Okay. He's uh, he's up in the top five. So now I gotta go. I'll be right back. I gotta go tell Curtis it's okay, Curtis, because your sources said. Have a good day. Thanks.